It's Emily Z Stilligracy here and welcome to a new Creator Sim makeover video. This is hopefully a bit of a break from the cats and dogs hype that's all over YouTube right now. I just needed to give my family a new makeover since this is my family from The Sims 4 Parenthood Let's Play. And Bailey here has just aged up to a young adult, so I wanted to give her a slightly more sophisticated look now that she's aged up. And her daughter Esther's also just aged up to a toddler, so we needed to give her a few cute outfits as well. Um, but yeah, I thought for Bailey we should have a little bit of a refreshment with her hair. Like, she's always had braids, she's always had the same braids. So I felt like we would have her hair nice and curly. Um, and kind of channel a little bit of Grandma Judy, who was in the Let's Play before she passed away. So this is a bit of cha uh, a little bit of Grandma Judy vibes, which I kind of like. And I also tried to use some of the new Cats and Dogs pieces too. So these shorts with the flanny wrapped around, that look was a new piece from that expansion pack. And then just teaming it with a nice cropped top. Um, and then I thought this swing skirt was so cute. So. I decided to make that into an outfit as well. And it took me a while to kind of find an outfit that I was feeling. And in the end I was like, should I make it red with this crop top or should I make it like a nice purpley color? And I just thought the purple matching top and skirt was really nice. And it's still got that typical Bailey, vibrant taste, flirty, feminine structure taste as well. So yeah, I don't know. I think she looks really cute. Hopefully you guys approve. And I also accidentally got rid of her freckles in the last part. I'm so glad you guys actually told me because I didn't even realize. So thank goodness for your comments. And yeah, thank you for that. Cause Bailey without freckles would have been really sad. I love freckles. I wish I had freckles. And I love these, this overall look for her. I am the type of person who would never wear overalls but I think for Bailey, they look really cute. And don't worry, we're not giving her that hair. We just give her a low bun. That's just from base game. I thought the low bun was just kind of really simple, but still nice and neat. And someday she's going to straighten her hair because I couldn't really find any updos that really m met that same curly hair texture that she has right now with her hair out. So I thought, okay, we'll just do cats and dogs up to base game up to and she can just have straightened her hair those days i also thought we'd recycle some of her teen clothes so she's still got the same denim shorts because it's not like you age up to 18 and you're like right time to throw away my entire wardrobe <laughs> that would be awesome though but uh yeah so she's still got the same denim shorts i thought that pink top was really nice on her a nice fresh new color Nice for the let's play and I'm changing her makeup as well because one of you guys said please can you change her makeup because you never change the makeup styles for everyday wear. So that's for you. I don't want to disappoint the simile so I gotta you know I gotta lift my standards when you ask me to you guys. And yeah so that's like her four different looks we just saw there. For active wear I just gave her shorts and a tank top. I love these shorts actually. I think they're really cute and how they have the underneath shorties that are more tight up so you can't see up the shorts. Very handy when you're at the gym doing workouts. There's nothing worse than feeling like everyone can see up your shorts. <laughs> I do, yeah, that's always a little bit awkward. And for, uh, uh, for her sleepwear, I thought these lime green shorts were cute. I never use them. So I'm like, oh, I may as well use them even though they're just base game. They, um, uh, Nice little PJ shorts. And for a party wear, I wanted something nice and fresh and different yet again. So I almost went for this base game yellow dress, but I know how sick of that dress a lot of players are. So I was like, hmm, I like it on her, but I'm gonna experiment a little bit more. And I love this skirt in a light blue with the top we pick. I think they go together really nicely. It's definitely a more sophisticated look, but it's a very like soft, and contemporary look I thought. So it's definitely one of her more sophisticated pieces, but now she's a young adult, why not? Uh, dress up a little bit. And I was kind of going, I was tempted to use that crop top and skirt, but I decided not to, I'm not sure why. I felt like the shapes didn't go together or something, but now seeing them again, I'm like, oh, maybe I should have gone with that. I don't know. I don't know. 
But anyway, we're going to choose the, uh, we have like a strapless top. That's right. In a light blue color. And yeah, it goes with the floral skirt really well. I was just trying to see what swatches went together with this top and skirt. And in the end, yeah, I love this, this blue look. Very nice. It definitely brings out her eyes and we've got to give her some earrings as well. I love that braided bun. I think that braided bun is so pretty. I don't think I got rid of it actually. I think I kept it cause I was like, no, I want to keep the bun. Uh, Oh no, I do get rid of it, do I? Oh yeah, we gave her her curls because yeah, the braids didn't really make sense, I guess. Yeah, she looks awesome with her hair out there with the dress. Now I see it, I like that best anyway. Good job, Pastella, you made a good decision. And just picking some eye make for her, eye makeup for her so she looks nice and glam. She's put in a lot of effort to look nice for whatever party she goes to. So I thought that was just nice. And the blue was like, whoa, too much blue. So we turn it down with a more natural look. I feel like Bailey's always had a more natural look. She's never worn a, a lot of makeup or anything. So when she does wear makeup, it's like a clear lip gloss with a nice bronze kind of eye shadow. And I did change her aspiration to finding a soulmate. So it's now changed that she's aged up and she's family oriented. So yeah, there's a couple of changes in her personality now that she's grown up a little bit. And I thought finding a soulmate was kind of sweet for a storyline because Max, the father of her child, has, it's been really difficult having a teen pregnancy. And like a lot of teen pregnancies, it or a lot of relationships in general, it doesn't always work out. So I think it's kind of nice that she's now ready to search for that person who's going to be a step-in father for our little Esther here. Um, so yeah, that's her new aspiration. And of course, on the side of that, she wants to be a really good mom. So yeah, I wish we could pick two aspirations. <laughs> anyway, this is little Esther Judy Barker. And oh my gosh, the toddler outfits are just too cute. They're too cute. I just want to pick them all. I chose five outfits for little Esther, even though this life stage is often so short. I'm like, no, she needs to wear all the clothes. <laughs> so yeah, just actually, I think we chose a lot of the toddler clothes from the toddler stuff pack. It's just a fantastic toddler stuff pack for outfits and hairs and all of that good stuff. And I think we're going to add a lot to the house now that there's a toddler living there. I want like a nice little outdoor shaded area. We could think about moving Bailey and Esther back to their original home. I've been thinking about this for a while, but I feel like whilst Bailey is still single and she's still, you know, ha having like a toddler to deal with, she kind of needs the support of her mom and stepmom there. So maybe if she finds someone, then they can move back to the old house she grew up in. I just thought that would be really cute. And some of you guys actually said that in the comments as well. So yeah, I'm so excited. Anyway, this is Esther's sleep time wear. I love the leggings. I think these spotty leggings are so cute, but I have a thing for gray and yellow. So I ended up going, you know what, let's, let's get Let's do the gray and yellow. And this party outfit is actually my favorite with the fairy wings and just some little legging pants that kind of suit the wings as well. So yeah, I feel like Esther really likes purple and green because she has a lot of purple and green outfits. <laughs> and this outfit, I was going to give her a super outfit, but I decided to make her a bumblebee because I just wanted her to wear that wings more than just at parties. So yeah, no, we had to, we had to go the bumblebee look. It would have been rude not to, so yeah, we go with that and some bumblebee matching shoes just to tie it all together. Anyway, let's jump into the screenshots right now. So here is one of Bailey's everyday looks. I'm not going to show all the looks, but I'm sure we'll see them during gameplay. This is the more matchy put together everyday outfit. Her overalls definitely looking more casual and that low bun makes her look a lot older. I feel like compared to this outfit, which I love this outfit. Maybe that's one of my favorites. There's little Esther in her purple cats and dogs jumper and her new little dress and long sleeve underneath. So adorable. And some sunshine yellow. I love the color yellow. So I do use yellow a lot in the Sims. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I adore yellow. 
and Bailey in a couple of other outfits as well. But as always, let me know what you thought of this makeover. I hope some of you guys liked it. It's always a little bit controversial. And I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I look forward to speaking to you guys really soon.